I've just sent my postcards to the printer to be printed and I'm freaking out and I'm anxious as hell. Hello everyone. So after much work on my postcards, they're finally sent off to the printer and I thought I won't have this anxious moment again now that I've done this before, but I do. Not sure if it ever goes away. I'm worried that they're bad and no one will like them and I'm worried that they might end up costing more than I calculated which is why I asked them to confirm the price with me before actually printing them. I hate this, this is so scary. Why is it so scary every time? I think last time when I printed my cards, I already had a lot of people interested in them, in buying them. And this time, well, most of it is reprint of those old cards, but there are also some new ones that I'm not sure anyone will care for. And at the same time, I feel like there is so much wrong with the world right now. It's been a very anxious day and also yesterday. And yeah, I'm not sure what else I want to say right now. I just hope this feeling gets better later. It's so hard to work with this anxious energy, but I guess I will do my accounting now because that always gives me anxiety anyway and might as well combine the two. Maybe they'll cancel each other. In any case, I probably won't get worse, one can hope. Anyway, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. I'll see you later. My postcards are now ready and printed and I'm off to go grab them and afterwards I'm going to go around the city and take some pictures with them and then I'm gonna come back and share them with you. So folks, today I need to take pictures of all of the new cards and each card has to have at least five pictures and a couple of variations and I'm not looking forward. Photographing products is really boring for me, but it has to be done, so let's just do it. now photographed all of the cards and now on to the equally boring task of editing all the pictures. Well folks, 
we're done with this shop update. The cards are up on the shop and out into the world and it's a moment of both joy and fear. <laughs> It's really really fun to see something that you've worked on for so long be finally finished and complete and to hold it in your hands and on your bookshelf back there. But also it's a sobering moment because now I have a pile of postcards in my drawers and as much as I like them I don't really want to keep them. <laughs> I realize once again that creating a product it's not the end of the creative process it's basically the start of the next part of it which is the marketing and sales process which is not my favorite part of the cycle but what's the point of making something if no one is going to know and no one is going to need it or use it so I had a very anxious evening and all this thoughts kind of sneak into my dreams and I was dreaming about SEO and marketing and driving traffic to my shop and all of this boring stuff but yeah uh, last year actually I realized that once I got past the fear of doing some things that needs to that need to be done in order to get my product to the people that this product is for I actually enjoyed it it's even weird to say, but I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> no, it, it was actually not too bad at all. So I hope I can replicate that. Some of the things I did last year are not exactly a possibility right this moment. Uh, for example, one of the things I did was go around souvenir and cinema shops and talking to the owners about having my cards in their shops, but souvenir shops are still closed, even though most other shops are open, but um, travel is still not exactly free. We have open borders with only three other countries and even that is very strictly regulated. For example, tourists are not allowed to sleep in Copenhagen. I think it's mostly for staying in summer houses and such. And since my product is very touristy, it's uh, postcards about Copenhagen. I kind of need a tourist, so... I have a few ideas of uh, new things to try that I'm excited to try but also not mega excited, a little scared but it'll be interesting to see and if I get past the fear of sounding too salesy and annoying maybe I'll share it with you and if actually it's interesting at all but yeah the other thing that we are working on is making my bike into a mobile postcard telling station <laughs> and that's going a bit slowly because both me and my friend who is actually making it or making the model for it uh, we have other stuff to do and it's not like the highest priority and I actually need to send her some measurements and I've been not doing that for like a week which is ridiculous because all I need to do is grab a measuring tape and go downstairs and measure the bike but yeah <laughs> but anyway what I wanted to say is that if you want to check out my postcards or the finished version of them which you've seen me work on for the past too many months you can go over on my Etsy shop the link for which you can find in the description and have a look or you know grab a card I don't mind and my battery is running low so I need to really wrap this up so next thing I want to work on is um, Linocut and Linoprint and I've been waiting for that forever and I have so many ideas that I don't know where to start and it's paralyzing me so I'm going to try and uh, get that started this week I also want to work a little bit on my Redbubble shop that I haven't touched in forever so that's another thing you might expect to see and that's it for me for this shop update video vlog thing and i'll see you next week when maybe we'll do some little cut i hope we will because it's on my calendar and i want to do it i just don't know where to start but anyway we'll start somewhere ah, i'm really distracted i don't know if it's making any sense at all i'll see you in a week hopefully and until then have fun